Okay guys, we're at the Flying Eagle Preserve. We've only been out here one other time. We just walked around a little bit. We've never camped here, but how's this for an intro? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's crazy. Eight, nine, nine locks. This is ours. Mm-hmm. Well, at least they put the blue on there. I gotta so get you know. set up. Yeah. I'm losing daylight and it might rain. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, guys. Well, we got our instant piss you off tent house here because we're truck camping so but yeah I mean give credit where credit's due it did save her ass last time we had it out but guys it's not an instant it will instantly piss you off so she's uh, I gotta I do have a hatchet and machete I believe yeah as I forgot my saws I didn't bring a single saw and I didn't bring a single stick of firewood that's already cut up. No. But if Monkey goes to see her mom, maybe she can stop by the house. Oh, I wasn't going today. Well, I guess we're not going to have a fire today. Oh, I got a machete. We'll think of something. So. And we've got the wood. If you've got a machete, we'll be good. Huh? You can't cut green stuff because it won't burn. But, you know, I am the wood whisperer. Here, wood. Here, wood. Okay, I'll, I'll work on that later. So, and we drug the picnic table back in there. We're in with the equine, the equestrians, right? Yeah. Which there is nobody else around except right through them trees. Right through there, and that's it. But there's no horse, horses, horse trailers. Um, but they don't care because I put them. It asked you how many horses. I put zero, and they cleared it. So, <sighs> wow. Well, all right, I gotta get finished. Get. I gotta. Yeah, I'll be back with you guys. <laughs> all right, got a little bit of wood. I know where there's more of that over yonder kind of straight back in there but you got a zigzag some small pieces that's oak so is that a, yeah that's oak and I'm just gonna be cooking on this tonight this here so and set this up started off my memory card is in my computer I'm on my and thank god I bring extra stuff huh yeah because <laughs> I bring too much stuff I've been told but thank god I have Yeah, but sometimes memory cards get corrupt too, so. Yeah. And we did bring an inverter for extra light, battery charging. Um, 
brought this, brought some movies. I also have a memory card in my camera equipment with, hmm? I think, four. I'm talking to YouTube uh -oh. with, I think, I think four movies on it. We're not going to be using that. You, we brought a projector. Where'd you put the projector? Okay. So, she brought a sheet. I think we could probably hang it from that corner, that corner, drop it down, and watch a movie from the back of the truck. Or whatever, wherever. So, yeah, this is my old pack there. That's been a good old pack. Yeah. I've had it for several years. And Monkey bought me that one over there. Get this. All right. So, what do you think, Mama? Yeah. Should I build a fire? Yeah. Or do supper? What do you want me to do first? All right, let me get you, I brought a tripod for the camera. Let me get you set up on the tripod. Let's go over here and build a fire. Okay, so I got a couple items here. Some dryer lint, my favorite, which I'm gonna use to light one of these, which is gonna light that, which is gonna light our twigs, which is gonna light that log. Put that back in the bag. That there. I'm gonna use that fire striker with the deer antler that my buddy Ryan gave it to me. Hope he's all right. I haven't seen him in a few weeks. Well, about a month now. All right. Are you? Am I recording? Okay. All right. I'm gonna take all that. fluffed up one time I went to use this I think it, it was on camera it wasn't lighting right or something and I think it was because monkey had washed some bed clothes sheets and stuff that we all know now are um, fire resistant oh I got it on me my uh, we got this here sure we can get a spark out of this thing all right let's see here almost I could probably blow that into a... there it goes probably could have just lit that white thing all right now get some that's more moss old man's beard here and some twigs. <clears throat> yeah, the leaves, guys. I don't know if I ever said this, but leaves is not a good fire starter because they burn up in like one second. <laughs> you know, so, if, but if that's all you got, you know, you better have a bunch of them, but yeah, they're not a not a very good fire starter. I know you guys seen me do this a million times, but I had a comment one time. Somebody said we we know how to build a fire. Well, some people don't, but another guy commented and said, Shaber, don't worry about that idiot. Because you never know when that one person wants to learn how to build a fire. And that's going to make you look bad, too. He said, just do what you want to do. I said, that makes sense. I'm going to build a fire because, you know, if you don't want to see it, you can skip through it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Feels pretty damp. Doesn't get much sun back in these woods. 
So like I said in the intro, we've never camped here, but we have visited. Came out here, walked around. There's a creek we'll go to tomorrow, I'll show you. Now we're getting somewhere. Let me see. It's something. Yeah, this is all damp. Wow. All of this stuff is damp. Fire starter went out. That's what's going on. Let's do this again. There it goes. Yeah, they're pretty good stuff. It's just they get crumbly, you know. We got her going now. Yeah, all this stuff's really damp. Well, it just rained too. So the other night, like I said, it doesn't get uh doesn't dry out real well back in here. All right, we've got her going now. Okay, move on to something else. So we have a slight dilemma. I mean, we have a fire going, right? But, uh, look at this. Yeah, you can hear sh shooting raw fuel out the back. So I gotta take this out Take the end off, see if the nozzle needs cleaned up. All right, so, I'm gonna take this nozzle out. Well, that's not the end I want to come out. So I need to see if I got a pair of pliers or vice grips or something in here. And I don't. Of course not. Okay, well, let's see if I can hold it with this without doing too much damage. No. Okay, well, can't believe I don't have a pair of vice grips in here. Oh, what? I said this feels good. So, inside of here, it's kind of like a fuel injector on a car. And sometimes they'll get sooted up. But this thing here is what controls it. And when you turn this, see, it regulates through this little tiny needle here how much fuel can come out of that. I gotta get a paper towel.
this is like a little clean out here. Of course not. No. Unless you know how to fix one of these stoves. No. Well then you sit there and relax. <laughs> An even better thing. It's starting to rain, isn't it, Mama? Yeah. Sure is. You guys can't see nothing. Hopefully, just turning it like that will clean it out enough. Still shooting it out like a rocket. All right, let's get it put back in. I don't like that noise. Probably might be down in here. We got some cooking on the fire. And we didn't bring the tripod, so. No. He said it's all in the box, so there's no sense in looking then if you're sure. All right. Well, I'm going to mess with this for a minute. If not, we'll go over to the fire. So, I was looking for a pair of pliers, and I realized I've got a pair. <clears throat> I've actually got two pair, maybe three, but I know I've got two pair. And one pair is in... A uh, little multi tool that Dennis gave to me. Thank you, Dennis. And while I was doing it, it just hit me. I was like, hey, I got my little stove. No, you did not. Okay, monkey did. Monkey said, hey, you got your little stove. I'm like, what stove? You know, your little. I was like, oh, I do. But, so I was going to make some ham, mashed potatoes, and some of them noodles. But, Instead, monkey, 
Wait a second, I gotta ask her something. Do you still think I bring too much stuff? No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I've got enough here. What we did also bring, which was supposed to be for tomorrow night, some sausage. So I'm gonna cut the sausage up, put it in here because it won't take that long. And um, we'll just eat some sausages tonight. How's that, Mama? That's fine with me. Okay, all right, let me get set up here. Okay, so I've got some of these Eckrick smoked sausages. How much did you give for these, Mama? So, and let me put my glasses on here and I'll tell you maybe what the weight is. Um, serving suggestion, I don't know where the weight is. There it is. 39 ounces, which is 2.44 pounds, which is, you know, pretty close to two and a half pounds. So, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and make two of these up for snack time. Um, we did bring some homemade uh, beef jerky. And we have tried it. Monkey tried it this morning before I was even up. <laughs> Didn't you, Monk? Yeah, that was good. And this came out of, what these come, what this thing come out of? Some, uh, the salami, salami and I use it for a cutting board okay so we're camping oh, it's gonna get dirty it's fine we're camping okay so let's go ahead and see if this thing will light I need a new stove this one's done well I've used it a lot but it's just it's wanting to come apart uh, but it's done okay now I have to be careful with this because as you can see let's see that's better still got to be careful with it though but it is what it is right mama mm -hmm. we're good we're golden. All right, guys. Let me let that heat up, and I'll be back with you. All right, let's go ahead and put these in here. Sizzle, sizzle. I'm just going to cook these up. There we go. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, guys, so... There's our supper for this evening. Mashed potatoes. I didn't mash them out here, guys. It's left over from Christmas dinner. And kielbasa sausage stuff. And it's raining. But look at, look at that tart monkey bought for us. <laughs> <laughs> it barely covers. I got to keep that one end open, you know, because it has to have air. But that's pretty much it, isn't it, Monk? Oh boy. Okay. Well, as you can see, it's raining. We're in here. We're going to eat. And I don't know, maybe watch. Maybe we'll have to see. Because, you know, that sheet. If uh, if we had the screen, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Because it doesn't matter if it gets wet. So, all right, let us eat. And then we'll move on to something else. <laughs> Hang tight. Okay guys, so we're back over here at the fire again. Rain slowed down. We went and got some wood over next door. They they took off, they're gone. So we're out here all by ourselves. <laughs> I don't know, there's another campsite up the road here about a quarter of a mile. I don't know if anybody's up there or not. I haven't heard anything since they've left. No. Well, I haven't heard anything from that area kind of like behind you guys there since we've been here all I heard was them guys they were tossing a football around mm. and they had a nice setup 
big old truck, tarps, and all kinds of stuff. So they must have left, so we grabbed some of that wood and uh, threw on our fire. So yeah, we ate. Was it good? Yeah. That turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mashed potatoes in a cast iron skillet. Yeah. So, one more night after this night. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the only nights I could get. I was going to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night. But all I could get was Wednesday and Thursday, and well, we got to leave Friday, so. <laughs> I don't get that. Well, because people book it up and then don't show up. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it's free, so not a big deal. Bruno, he's been, he's been having a blast. He hears something, and off he goes. <laughs> he wanted to make another trip to get more wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We cute. threw the wood down and he headed back that way. Yeah. <laughs> then he stopped in front of the truck. He turned around and looked at us. What are you guys, what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. we, we need to go get more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll sit out here for a little bit. And um, let's see. Yeah, it's about a quarter to eight. So, yeah, 7.46. Uh, we got, I don't know, we was eating, it was it was like 7.04, so mm -hmm. we sat over there and talked for a little bit. It's still sprinkling, but not bad. No. Mm -hmm. But it was enough to where we had to get stuff put up. I mean, it's still raining, but not super bad. So we thought we'd sit by the fire for a little bit, yeah. and maybe we'll go see if we can shine the projector on something. All right. We got that sheet, but, you know, if I hang it up, It'll get wet. It's not that big of a deal, though. We'll see, you know. All right. And we'll just watch it out of the back of the truck, so. All right, guys. So we're just going to kind of kick it here for a little bit. So um, her daughter, well, her daughter, our daughter, is in a, it's a hospital, right? State hospital, yeah. Yeah, she was, you know, she's got issues, but. <clears throat> so when was that place built? In the 1800s. 1800s. It's, it's huge. Up, it's up by, where's that, the Panhandle area? Yeah. I guess it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be haunted and stuff. Um, yeah, we was just discussing, because I was talking to my camera, and it wasn't turned on. I was wiping it off, you know, because it's raining again. We're getting ready to go try to watch a movie, but, uh, yeah. She's like, you'll be up there where Leslie is. <laughs> I said, no, they'd kick me out. All he wants to do is ghost hunt. She yeah. said, or talk to his camera, because I said, you got enough batteries. And... <laughs> so anyway, Kenny, we're actually, what, just five or 10 minutes from Fort Cooper? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of like in this area. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, this land is I mean, there's houses and stuff over there, but it's the same land. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just a couple miles as the crow flies. I mean, it's longer than that driving because, you know, it's like when we when we came in here, the first time we tried to find this place just to check it out, I don't know if we filmed it. I, I think I filmed that that boat going over that bridge thing. But anyway. Yeah, uh, you did. So, and, and we, if you follow the instructions on uh, GPS, it takes you to private property and this guy's got a big gate and big signs that says your GPS is wrong, turn around, no trespassing, private property. And these aren't like homemade painted signs. He had these signs made up. Yeah. And it's been several years since we've been back in here. Yeah. But we just came walking around, you know, just kind of scoping out uh, camping spots. But yeah, so Kenny, yeah, we're not that far from, from there. So um, these woods are supposed to be haunted too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. I brought it a little something something maybe tomorrow night. If it ain't raining, maybe we can do some. See if we can conjure up something. I don't know. <laughs> Never know. But you guys are getting wet, so I'm going to get you over in the truck. And I think I'm going to hook up the, uh, the projector. And uh, 
Got a hell of a nice fire going though. Yeah. I hate to leave it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it, it's chilly though. What time? I mean, what's the temperature anyway? Now I don't know. It's supposed to go down in the 40s. I know that. It was only in the 60s when we came out. Yeah. So. It hasn't been a very nice day. It's just been blowing me out all day. But, yeah, I don't have service, so my watch can't talk to my phone. So, all right, guys, let me get you in here out of the rain. This cool weather and this dampness is really playing hell on my batteries. <laughs> so, yeah. I got two other ones. I got a big one and then another regular size one. But I have a way to charge them, so. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. What are you doing there, Monk? Watch a movie. Hang on a second because I got a, this is, I got a, that's oh. copyright. Copyright. Yeah. Gee, you're all laid back there. Yeah, I'm nice and cozy. <laughs> I looked over at the thing and I seen underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Nobody's out here. <laughs> yeah, we're here. So check it out. Yay. These lights will go out in a minute as soon as I shut the door. Yeah. But yeah, there it is. Now we can watch movies in the rain. Did a light just go out somewhere? No. Like behind that? I don't think so. Did I have a light on in there or something? No, I know. But these lights will go on. I'll show you here in a minute. Uh oh, hang on. Got a raindrop. I'm fogging up. Mm. All right, now once these lights go out, I'll show you what we got going on here. Mm -hmm. Here we go, we're all hooked up. Inside the truck, I'll show you here. <laughs> There's a monk. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bruno and monkey. <laughs> Just like being in a drive-in. Yeah. Hey, we're in a drive-in. I can bootleg this movie. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You can see where the sheet's getting wet, though. Yeah. If I zoom in on it. <laughs> but it's okay. Works. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll be back with you before I go to sleep, or turn in, I should say. So we were sitting in there watching a movie, and we heard a door, like a car door. I don't know how well this is picking up, but... There's nobody out here but us. Weird. No one here. No one came back. But we definitely heard a car door or a tree knock, maybe. I don't know, but we heard something. Huh. It's nice out here. That's a nice campsite over there. It goes back in there. But yeah, we didn't. Uh, no one's been back here, so. I don't know, guys. Really weird. What if I put you on night vision? Will you see better? Hang on. A little bit. Really strange. So we took a ride up the road, didn't we, Mama? Oh, and yeah. There's nobody here confirmed, so I don't know what that door was. Monkey had to poop, so. I did not. <laughs> you had to. Don't you blame it on me. She said, We'll take the paper towels with you. I said, Look, I'm driving up there because this is a good way. It's not really far, but when it's raining and you got to poop. I thought you were going in the woods. That's why I said that. I didn't bring my shovel. 
And I'm not going to leave that lane out there, and I'm not going to bring it back. <laughs> so, that's why I said I was going to bring my shovel earlier, oh, and I forgot it. Because you got to bury that, you know. But, yeah, confirmed. We're the only ones here, huh? Again. Yeah, but I'm good with that, but what was that noise? Was it a tree knock? Was it a door? It sounded like a car door to me. Yeah, but did you hear a car come in? No. Did you hear a car go out? No. Did you see any lights? No. No brake lights, no nothing? Mm -mm, nothing. So, I do, Weird. however, have a pretty good fire there. Well, kind of hard to see from this angle, but... And for some reason, my camera's not wanting to focus, but... Yeah, so anyway, it's only 10.38, but Monkey, I remember seeing her having in her hand her test tester and stuff for her insulin. We brought the insulin, but we cannot find the tester, and we've been looking for about 38 minutes. Well, minus the 10 minutes it took me to run up to the... The porta potty, which said duty calls, and it was spelled D O O D, duty calls. That was funny. All right, guys. I don't know why this thing's not focusing, but I'm gonna put you back in here before it gets too wet, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So we're still watching movies only this time. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is monkey. Let me put you on night vision here. So you're saying Oops. that a spike in the electromagnetic field means that there's ghosts? There's monkey. <laughs> yeah. Almost. There's Those the projector. Are a form of Way energy. down there. The Somewhere. There it is. Indicate. And it's pointing up and we're laying on our back watching the movie. Because I know she's going to be getting ready to go to sleep. So I didn't want to bother her by you know getting the door closed and all that stuff so we're laying on our backs watching the movie on the ceiling because there's the back of the truck there uh, there's Bruno Bruno made himself a little lean to back there uh, yeah, now he had to move, but he made himself a little shelter. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get on with the movie. <laughs> so we're laying on our back watching the movie. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll be back with you before I go to sleep. Okay, take number 52. This is Bruno's mat that he lays on. We got it running from the hooks. The clothes hooks and some rope I conveniently carry with me. There's monkey and there's because it was working good down there until it wasn't. <laughs> until it it wasn't. was shining up there. It was beautiful, beautiful picture. It was nice, but and it, but it got hot and shut off. So we came up with this. It's amazing what you can do in the back of a <laughs> of. A, <laughs> <laughs> have a traverse yeah uh, yeah all right and that's on the it's on a box on the console on a dvd all right guys i'll be back with you again probably for take 37 eight good morning guys so i slept pretty well yeah yeah, I forgot to turn you back on and tell you good night last night. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I slept pretty well after I did go to sleep, watch some movies. But, yeah, it's supposed to rain all day. Monkey went to the bathroom. She said she saw a deer. So, that's pretty cool. So, what I'm going to do, instead of being trapped in that little gazebo thing over there i'm gonna go with monkey and while she goes and sees her mom i'm gonna load up some more movies on my memory cards in case we're stuck in here again tonight so yeah so hopefully you enjoyed the video 
and uh, it was not raining right now, but it could start at any time. But yeah, so stay tuned for the second day. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Barely met the man of legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. Take care. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. Monkey's getting a shower. She's going to go visit her mom. Like I said, I'm going to uh, load a couple movies onto a couple cards. And then we're going to head back out when she gets back. And so that'll be, you know, the next video. Uh, what I wanted to tell you was, the reason why I threw this in was because Saturday, if it's nice, we're planning a day hike. We're going to go back through there and hike around and show you some of the woods back in there. So... That should be fun. So stick around for that. Hey, right, this time, Shea Bear, I'm gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Take care.